Well, what did you do this week? Well, this week, uh, I only popped on a Notagog for certain things to service... Himself. My Yeah. You, yeah, you can soak in that, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to service my Rogue. So I played my Rogue for a bit. Uh, decided to do a few quests, get up to 30. I tried the Hillsbrad quests. What a PETA. You know, I've jumped on my Rogue a number of times, and I would go, okay, I want to go over here. And it's like, no, I want to go over here. It's like, no, I want to like, I just logged off. Um, and then I try again later and it's like, I'm running in circles with this dude because everywhere I go, there's group quests or there's quests that require like the harpy den in uh, a thousand needles, uh, yeah. the Panther. I tried the Panther. He's still going to beat me. Um, you know, I need That's some 30? friends. Yeah. 31. I tried, I tried him. Um, Isn't and he a level 25 elite or is he level 30 elite? He's level 30. Oh, okay. I can clear the way in front of him. I can get him close, but not close enough. Anyway, I can't solo anything in uh, Scarlet Monastery yet. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I just want to get into an instance and level this guy, especially after Hillsbrad. So I, I was doing some of the dangerous quest in Hillsbrad. You know where you look for the names people? Yeah. That quest a giant pain in the butt. And I was in... I saw some level 40 alliance and what are level 40 alliance doing in Hills, Brad, where the farmers are. They're killing people. Quest. They're, no, they're, they're the people that are friendly to alliance. They can't kill the farmers. No, they're killing people who are questing. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah they're just there to grief the level 27 to 30 people. Cause you know, when you got a small peen, you're going to need to kill somebody that's 10 levels lower than you. Mm-hmm. Or so I, yeah. So anyway, I went into the building with the clerk. We go, okay, it's a small place. I'll be able to see somebody coming, and there was other horde in there. So I saw a group of level forty alliance out there killing lower level people, and I just got away from them. So all I saw was level forty alliance, and we're in there. We're waiting for the guy to respawn. It was a group of three, myself included. Um. Yeah, we, we had, and then one of them run, ran off here, and then the other guy ran out, and I just said, I'm just going to wait here because I'm, I'm invisible. Just waiting for this guy to, to come out. And then one of the other guy comes back and goes, uh, retreat, retreat. Like he was yelling retreat. It was coming through my thing. I'm going, why the hell is this coming through my, my thing? So I didn't even look because he was fighting um, a level 40 alliance. I didn't look. I just kind of went over and then I, I stopped for a second because I saw his rogue and I'm going and then I'm looking around okay he's talking to me he goes you a bitch what so like but that one I was trying to target the thing but by the time I looked he was already dead and he goes dude that guy was 25 you're a bitch and I'm like okay well first of all you came in yelling retreat so I figured it was just one of the level 40. I didn't realize that there was actually a level 25 Alliance Rogue there because that's like on par, which is not yeah. like the Alliance. Um, no, they don't usually try and yeah. fair fight. But I, I didn't look. Fair. I just I just moved out of the way, and then I was going to turn around and get my thing. See, if I was on my Shaman, I was right out there in the open, I would have just targeted him because there's no escape for a Shaman. If I'm a yeah. Rogue, I have an escape. I'm going to take it. But you know, you, Rogue do what Rogue do. Yeah, anyway, I mean... Anyway, so people should just expect that rogues are going to stealth and run away from a fight. Yeah. So <laughs> that was a quick little shot I saw. So I said to him, I said, Look, you came in and you yelled retreat. And I just figured it was one of the level 40s that was out there. He goes, Oh, that's my add on. My bad. That's my mana add on. My bad. I said, Yeah, especially since your go to is bitch. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> I left the group. They didn't Did get, get the, the kill. Clerk? Pardon? Did you get the clerk? I got the clerk. Okay. Oh, nice. With him or no? No. Okay. No. He came in after me. I said, he's dead already. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't actually say uh, that because I have him blocked. You, you, you don't call somebody a bitch. And you know what? When level 40 alliance are going around and the person comes in and yells retreat. Why would you retreat? Because your freaking whatever ran out of mana. It was a mana add on. He said, what quest? What class was he? I think shaman. I've Maybe. just I've never I've never heard of that add-on. That's bizarre. Yeah. It, well, it's like it stupid. yelled retreat. Yeah, it did. 
I have, I have that's a video. Get more so groups can... killed than anything else. Yeah. Because turning and running is going to get you killed more often than just trying to finish the mobs off. Yeah. Well, it got him that's killed. I'm add on. Got him killed by a level yeah. 25 rogue, dude. Soaking that. What level was he in? Uh, I think he was like. I don't know. I'll look back on the VOD later, but I think he was around 26, 27, maybe. He got killed by a rogue? This guy sucks. Well, so do I. I just stealthed away. But You can get killed by it, though. <laughs> I, didn't. I didn't get killed by anything out there. Um, yeah, rogues are bad. They're low DPS and no Moran. They're terrible at PvP. They just stealth and run away all the time. Like, man, rogues. Well, okay. A shaman has Earth Shock to interrupt, so he'll use it to interrupt. Yes. Um, mages have a lot of abilities, that, so rogues have abilities. If we use our abilities, we're called cowards. Get over it, people. It's what we do. Yeah, we're gonna come in. We're gonna stab you from behind, and then when things get rough, we're gonna press our vanish button. Yeah, it's it's the nature of a rogue to be kind of weaselly. Yeah. And the upside to that also, is... Also, most... if you just dot the rogue, they can't even vanish. Yeah. It's hilarious. I love it. Well, it depends what you dot them with. Does Serpent it? Sting, is that poison? Yeah. I have anti-venom. Well, nobody uses it because I Because they probably don't the think time. to carry it with them. I just used it to level up, and I still have a stack, and I'm going, you know, this stuff comes in handy, actually. I think I should just carry around anti-venom with me. Pop it but it's like, a, is there a cooldown on the anti venom? Because there's not really a cooldown on serpent sting. Um, I don't think so. I think you can pop one right after the other. Okay, but I might well, be wrong. But it doesn't matter. You don't need a cooldown. You take it, cure yourself, and you go. Yeah. And if there's a cooldown, you log out for five minutes. Remember season of or remember hardcore? Season of just hardcore. Yeah. Uh, just hardcore. If we're gonna do it that way. So then yeah. I also did some runes. So just to speed things up for my uh, cowardly runaway. I did some runes because I wanted to have something to talk about. So I did uh, one called Rolling with the Punches, which was easy. I had to go into yeah. Camp Ethoc and just uh, go into the back of a tent. And uh, Where is that? that is, okay, so Thousand Needles, you come down the elevator and this one side oh, where. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, yeah. Thousand it's Needles. The, okay. It's the camp over here. Yeah. So I had to go into the back of a tent and I had to play Russian dolls with the uh, chests. So I opened up a chest. I got a lockbox. Open up lockbox, got another lockbox. And I kept going, kept going, and now it says, and then the second to last one says, it's rude. It says, all right, you already got what you want. Don't you dare open that other box. And I said, oh, yeah. Boom, it goes off. I got all sooty. <laughs> and it says, I told you. So you got so, all sooty? Yeah, I got all sooty. So I just stayed in the tent because I was in, you know, contested areas. I just stayed in the tent for a few minutes and let the suit wear off. Oh, can you not, like, stealth or anything if you're suited? No, no, it was, it was, uh, it was a... Permanent Can don't you just sell. Like suit off? No, I tried to no. Well, actually I don't know. If there's a pool of water around, maybe I could jump into it. But maybe. there wasn't a pool of water around that I know of. You know what you know what they should have done? They should have had it so that if you jump into a pool of water, it leaves like a like a like an oil slick on the top and then you can fish it for something. What fish are gonna fall off the rogue? No, not, Ooh, not the for a slimy fish. eel. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, there should have been there, there should have been like a secret item or something that you could get by doing that. Yeah. See, they don't think these things through. So I'm gonna do these out of order of what I did them in because I want to talk about the this one last, but I also did the shurkin toss rune. So can you toss something? Sure I can. Um nice. is that those, the one they nerfed or buffed? I don't remember. They did something to it. Not that I'm aware of. Oh. But, uh, oh, yes, yes, they did. The range. Uh, it's the Rune uh, of Assassination. Oh, yeah, so you don't accidentally pull extra stuff when you when you do it. Yeah. So at level 30, I was walking through the Swamp of Sorrows, and boy, was I sorrowed that I did that. Because um, you get close enough, they're going to see you, because they're red, deep, deep red. Um, not the brownish red, but just the red red, like get the F out of the way. But I got killed once. Um, by Nobongu or whatever his name is, you know the the one mob boss sure. I walked yeah, around. Sounds, sounds right. Um, not good with names. I had a couple of things attack me, but I managed to slip away. You try to reach for my phone. And it's anyway, I got to this conspicuous cache. It's a chest, not Ooh. money. 
And I'm going, okay, there's something around here that's going to shoot me with a dart. And I looked around, and I even learned disarm traps, because you got to learn disarm traps. You can disarm this dart. I didn't see it, so I walked over to the chest. I looked around, all of a sudden, I got shot. So there's this poison dart. No. Um, Because I had anti-venom. Oh. And it didn't do anything. Uh, (laughs) Anti-venom didn't do it. So I'm sitting there, and I'm just combating the loss of health. With Did food? you try Uncle Venom? No. No. But I do remember that I was crossing one of the bridges and I heard that little stealth noise. I'm going, there's another rogue around. Probably doing the rune. Yeah, so... And uh, she was a few levels lower than me, actually. Hmm. But I got hit sure with it. And I saw where... I didn't see where it came from, so I stepped back for a minute. Then she walked up to the rune box and she got shot. And I saw, okay, cool. So I stealthed. I went over and I disarmed it. And then I walked back over and I opened up, I got my rune. And then oh, I got... Oh, so if you, get, if you get shot, you can't open the box. It interrupts you. Well, you can, but you're going to keep... No, it interrupts you. Oh, okay. Yes. You can keep going back, but it's going to keep shooting you. But I disarmed it, so it was down. So and I had to... uh, so-and-so, I forget what her name was, but it says beckons you over. So I was stealth at this point. So I unstealthed and I went over and I, I walked up... Beckoned by a female. Well, because she couldn't speak to me. Oh, Alliance? Yeah. So I went over to the box. I started jumping up and down. Huh. I started jumping down on her box, jumping up and down on her box. No, it was just that box there. And uh, so then she walked over, and she looted it. And then she looked at me, and she gave me like a thank, you know, slash thank. And, and then you killed her. And then I welcomed No, no, we just went on our separate way. She was a polite Alliance person. I don't get a lot of them. She didn't sneak up when I was dying of poison and kill me. Um... Which, you know, she was a lower level, but I was down to like a sliver of health. So she could have, but I disarmed the trap. It was disarmed long enough for both of us to get it. So we got it. Now, level 30, I got some mail. I thought you couldn't wear mail. Not armor. Oh. Um, From C. C who? It's just C. Just same dude that is the same dude that mailed me at level 20 and sent me into Shadowfan Keep on my own. Oh, where do you send you this time? Scarlet Monastery. On your own? On my own. At level twenty six or thing? thirty? Thirty, yeah. Yes. Yes, it's a rogue thing. Oh, okay. Rogues have solo stealth missions because they're yeah. fancy. So I had to go to the same place. The little cabin outside of Pyrewood Village. Mm-hmm. Pick up the dead drop and find my assignment. I had to get the eye of Bosca. B H O S S C A. So I had to loot a chest on the monastery grounds. So Could you I had stealth to... into it? Pardon? Could you stealth into it? Yeah, they're higher level. I had to be careful. So I had to go behind Scarlet Monastery and Tears Fall Glades and find a supply locker inside the stable. Oh, so it's outside? Yeah. No. Oh. There's a more. But what I read was go behind Scarlet Monastery and Tears Fall Glades and find a supply locker. So I went behind Scarlet Monastery, and I'm looking all around for a supply locker. And then I said, inside the stable. Okay. So I'm looking around all around the back. There's no locker here. Found it was inside the stable. And I thought, what a moron I am. Until I watched a couple other people playing it, I watched a stream, and yeah. uh, they were doing the same thing. They said, oh, yeah, we have to go into the stable. So it's not just me. Inside this locker, which requires 100 lock picking. I had to get a Scarlet Initiate's uniform, which I could only wear in Scarlet Monastery. So you blend in? Yeah. So the first thing I had to do was stealth into the graveyard wing and pickpocket a Scarlet Scryer for a Scryer's key. So, because if you do anything suspicious with the uniform on, it breaks the disguise. So that one, I was not in disguise. Is the fact that the uniform is being worn by an orc not suspicious on its own? It's got a mask. (laughs) <laughs> like a big yeah. version of those Halloween masks. No, no, that makes sense. I mean, you've got a human mask and big bulging green arms. You look like a human. Yeah. I went on an orc. I'm a real orc. I'm, I'm an undead. Oh, I forgot people could play yeah. undead. I hate undead. Why why would a scarlet anything recognize what an undead is? It's not like they're they're Warm to, just, to kill them all. To, 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 yeah. That I mean wouldn't don't you smell? I don't think I have a nose. To other people. 
Well, I don't know. Either way, go on with your story. I feel like I'm interrupting you a lot. Well, Usually. you are, but that's that's part of our that's part of our. It's because uh, I'm hungry. It's because I'm really hungry and kind of irritated by the fact that I'm hungry. And I'll have to go to work soon, so we have to finish this. So I had to go into the library wing and loot the personal letterbox inside the Athenium using the square key. So that's the one all the way around, a couple turns before the end. Yes. So I went in, in uniform, got it. Then I had to go back into the graveyard wing and sit on a couple benches in the forlorn cloister. These instructions come with it, so I'm not breaking anything you don't get. So I had to sit on one bench. I heard a click. Move across, sit on another bench here, click. Now, those Scarlet Initiate uniforms are good for getting past the humans, but the end-to-end yeah. have nothing to do with it, so I had to stealth there. So then once I stood on the two benches and activated it, something opened up in one of the little, well, what do they call it? Deep. Mausoleums. Mausoleums, Crips. yep. Crips. So in one of the mausoleum niches, a stone coffer appeared, and I got a reliquary key. So I had to go back to the library wing, go into the gallery of treasures, which was earlier than where the other box was, uh, and they use the reliquary key. It's the one where the captain sits in one of those little coves once we get into a certain depth in the library wing. Okay. Uh, and I looted the padlocked reliquary, and I got the Eye of Bosca. Then I had to return to Silver Pine and drop it in the box. Then I had to go away. And once I hit another major city, I got another e- I got another mail from C. It says, all right, you I got email. it. Yeah. Because I got it. And go back to the dead drop and get your rune. So I had to go back to the box. And I got my rune for Shadow Step. Is that even a good rune? I don't know. I haven't had much of a chance to use it. But uh, what it does is... Um, oh, I clicked it. It goes on the belt and it attempts... To, Attempts to step through the shadows and reappear behind my enemy increases my movie speed movement movie speed movement speed by seventy percent for three seconds. Okay. Yeah. So I mean I'm sure that might be useful as a rogue. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know if it makes me stealth, so if it if it does and then I can sap and then it gives me movement speed, it's a good getaway maybe. But then it says, realize it says reappear. So I guess I reappear. Maybe it's just to get behind to backstab if you're like face to face killing something. I don't know. I don't get rogues. Like the the thought of doing all this stuff. Like I'm all for long quests. Like I love long quests. But the the whole like spending an hour stealthing around Scarlet Monastery, sitting on things. I got tired just listening to that. You don't you don't spend an hour. Um, you, I stealthed into graveyard to a Scarlet Scryer. Slow, though. Well, it depends. You can spec and move faster. Um, I'm too impatient when, to be a rogue. I hate being stealthed. Well, if you spec into it and you, you, you're almost at a normal walking pace when you're really? stealth. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not specced into it, but I mean, if that's what bothers you, spec into it. Um, or I could just not play a rogue. Yeah. Or you could just not play a rogue. I guess you'd hate doing a feral druid who has to stealth as well yeah do you think i use stealth no well, yeah well you did when we first played a little bit yeah because uh we were heading into one of the plague lands once i remember he said, oh look there's this guy and we we tried to get him because he's sitting down eating you wanted to like crit him but we ended up running from him i think you died but i managed to sneak into all these little hills and get away it was kind of cool entirely possible it was that was many years ago over a decade ago i don't remember anything from back then yeah I don't remember the important things like that. Yes. All you remember is specific little stories that counter anything I just said. I hate stealthing as a feral druid. Well, remember this one time 17 years ago. Well, I'm not going to tell you that one time you did it means you like it. Um, no, I just, I, the idea of stealthing just irritates me. I hate moving slow. Yeah. So I went and, uh, I did a few more quests, and then I looked at my gear and said, oh, there's some things that my shaman can make. So I went over to my shaman, made some stuff. I spent seven gold on weapon upgrades for him because maybe he'll hit harder. Maybe I can take the panther out now. Maybe. Um, there was huge upgrades for both of them, like 171, plus 171 on uh, 60 upgrades. So I said, okay. Nice. You know, I really need to set up 60 upgrades for Sod. I haven't done it yet. Yeah, so then I got tired, and I said, okay, enough of this. You're going to have to get up and record early, and here I am. That's what I did this week. Nice, that short, sweet. That brings us to today. 
What'd you do, Josh? Now we have to talk about you, Josh. And um, then we have podcast questions, and then. So I'll be real quick because I didn't really do much outside <laughs> of playing with Sam. Josh. Josh, did you say I didn't do anything? <laughs> yeah, I didn't do anything this week. <laughs> um, I helped Sam with some stuff. I oh, one thing, the one thing I did do myself, um, <clears throat> is I've been playing my druid as like a box character when I'm playing my hunter, just to make things easier. <laughs> soak up experience and all that but the thing is my druid didn't have any runes because basically i i leveled them up as fast as i could i boosted them in some dungeons i didn't really take the time to go to go pick up runes so i had gotten i got summoned at level one and i got my starfire and i had star the surge. star surge whatever it's called i got the the fury of the storm rage one that lets me spam wrath and get like a free heal and not have to spend mana on wrath and i got the star fire one not star surge star fire that you put on the gloves that gives you an extra moon fire basically and uh i had like four i had like three or four runes basically as a level 31 32 and i was like it was it was really bothering me that i didn't have wild Growth, growth, uh, for starters, and I was I like, you're okay, about to I really say wild need... scrotum for a second there. <laughs> well, I keep wanting to say wild strikes, but that's not the one because I'm not feral, and although I should get that, I should get wild strikes so that when I don't have to heal, I could just have that up for my hunter. But oh, and if I'm with Sam and Sam's healing, I could just follow myself around just as a buff bot with wild strikes. Yeah, I gotta go get wild strikes. Um, but anyways, I ran around the world and I got some of my runes on my druid. I got the, uh, I got wild growth. I got a couple other ones. I don't know. I'm up to like nine now. I started doing, I got one of the dark riders down. I, I, yeah, I did some of the stuff. I, I still don't have all my runes. My druid's still not great, but, uh, he's level 34 now. I'm almost high enough to use the loot that I got in Alderman for myself. Um, yeah, and that's about it. I did some, I, I've been doing some Ashen Veil. I'm almost revered with my hunter. Um, I tried playing my warrior a bit, but got bored of it because I didn't really want to. And, uh, and we did RFD on Friday. It's, it's been kind of a, it's been kind of a play with Sam and help Sam out with stuff week and not really do a whole lot on my own. So yeah, so yeah, it's been, it's been a, Quite, I, I feel like I was on a lot. I did a bunch of fishing as well. I upped my fishing. I maxed out my fishing. And uh, worked on my cooking skill and stuff. And, uh, oh, and I ran around on my druid. I also upped my herbalism. Because I kind of skipped the whole herbalism thing. And then I've been doing Scarlet Monastery without high enough herbalism to loot the herbs in Scarlet Monastery. Which is annoying to me. Because I'm just like looking at the grave moss and the fade leaf and all that stuff just sitting there and I can't loot it and it's like mm. so I, I went and I worked on my herbalism a bit but yeah I didn't do much I didn't do much at all <laughs>